Welcome back to the channel. My name is Clay Wong and today we've got a very special video as we're going to be showcasing one of the best Honda Civic Type R's ever made. It was a car that was only sold to the Japanese domestic market and this is that vehicle guys. I can't wait. This is a JDM FD2 Civic Type R. It's a 2007 model year and it's just landed onto our shores and in this video we're going to be talking about just why this car is so special. If you guys want to see more builds, car reviews and automotive related content here on YouTube, consider subscribing to the channel and let's get into it. So guys, I've got the owner of the vehicle over here. This is Alan. Hey, How you Clay. going? So you Great. guys may remember Alan because he is the owner of the Tommy Mackinnon Evo 6 that I did over a year ago. He oh, yes. is also a huge Honda fanatic. And as you guys know, I love my Hondas. And this is his new car. Alan, can you tell us a little bit about this thing? Great. Yeah, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> thank you, Gray. Uh, thank you, Clay. And uh, this is the Honda Civic Tab R yes. FD2. The car was uh, imported from Japan. It took me six months to get the car landed. So this very clean car, I know it just landed a little bit dirty, but that's fine. So the car is a great 4C, so which is like with the factory paint on it. I really like how it's still as is from Japan. You know, you've got the stickers from the registration out there in Japan. And you know, this is so JDM. And once somebody gets their hand on this, they can really customize it to the owner's preference. So it's essentially like a blank canvas. And Alan has also got a few other special cars out here. This is his daily driver guy. It is an FN2 Honda Civic Type R. And this is a very rare one because it's championship white and it's factory fitted with the LSD. I know it's not as good as the FD2. However, still a Type R in its own regard. And then at the back, you can see Alan's 96 spec DC2 Integra Type R. This thing is super special. I can't believe you have both. Oh, three of these things, Alan. So yes, uh, just another great uh, DC2 Type R. <laughs> a bit old school, but it's uh, probably one of the best Type R I ever owned. Yeah, honestly, the DC2 is just pull heartstrings for me. I had one when I was 18 years old and now prices have gone astronomical, right? Correct, absolutely. It's insane, but that's because these cars are true JDM legends. And at the back here, Alan, he's been hiding a little secret from me. He's <laughs> a true me, guys. Evo enthusiast. This car imported three, four years ago. It's been kept in a garage all his life. That's so, insane. perfect timing for Clay. You guys, <laughs> very lucky that we have this car in here today. Probably the only one in Victoria, the genuine Evo 5. In That's the red. insane. With the factory sunroof too. This thing is so clean, guys. Evo 5 in red, factory red. 89,000 Ks on the clock, right, Alan? Correct, yes. Absolutely. That's insanity. If you guys want to see these cars featured on the channel, make sure you're subscribing because you don't want to miss out on all of these JDM legends. So, in this video, we're going to dive into the FD2 Civic Type R specifically because this is a car that a lot of Honda owners gravitate to because. It's the last ever Japanese built Honda Civic Type R. It's got the most powerful, naturally aspirated engine in the K20A. And as you guys know, I own a DC5 Integra Type R and a JDM model, but this is the direct successor to that car. And it pains me to say that I've heard so many great things about it. I've done a review on a fully fledged track built FD2, but this is a stock standard example. So it's gonna be really cool to see how it fares stock for stock with the DC5. Thank you again, Alan. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> Guys, don't forget, give us a thumb up, like, and subscribe to play well on the channel. Oh man, Alan, it's too cool. Can't wait to get into it, guys. Let's go.
I've got the Honda Civic SD2 Type R. This is a very special car in Japanese motor history because it was the last one to ever come out from Japan. And it was also the only sedan Type R ever built. But if you have a look at this car, it really doesn't look any different from a base model Honda Civic FD. Apart from the front end, the red badge, the lip, the side skirts, the white wheels, and that big Evo style rear wing. Those are the only signifying factors that make it a Type R. But underneath the skin of this FD, that's where all the magic lies because they had a stiffened chassis, it was lightened, all the sound editing has completely been stripped out of this car. And in accordance to that, it was all of the mechanical details that make this car truly special. It's got the JDM K20A engine. And in this FD, it was the most powerful from factory ever produced by Honda, making 165 kilowatts of power or 225 horsepower. It makes even more than the DC5 Integra Type R. It makes more than the EP3 and also more than the Euro R. It's truly special and we're gonna dive all into the details about this motor during the review section of this video. But let's have another look at this car. I mean, it really looks cool in this championship white colorway, the white wheels, the big fat Brembo's. It just looks purpose built. But something that's really unique about this car, as I mentioned before, is the fact that it's got four doors. That means it's got a whole lot of practicality. Have a look at the space of this car. You could really use it as a daily driver and then on the weekend, you can take it out on track and enjoy the Type R. In addition to that though, you've also got a massive rear trunk space. You can put so many things back here. It's honestly so surprising that a Type R has evolved from a two door, little EK9 to now this. It's a very big car by today's standard and it weighs 1,270 kilograms. It's 90 kilograms heavier than the DC5 that it succeeded. However, in terms of acceleration and top speed and performance, it's not that far behind. It actually is even quicker from zero to 100 because of the revised final drive, making it 5.1 instead of the DC5's 4.74. It also makes a little bit more power than the DC5, but it just showcases how well Honda had designed this final hurrah of the Type R. This back end though is really cool because it doesn't look any different from a base model FD. Even the taillights are exactly the same. But of course, you've got this rear wing and that looks mammoth. On this particular FD, you've got this really cool JDM touch and you've got this titanium cap back feels exhaust. And you can just hear the purr of that K20A engine. All right guys, enough talking. Let's go for a drive in this Type R because it's just begging me to do so. If you guys have been enjoying the content, make sure you consider subscribing to the channel. And let's get it. Wow. Honestly, the response on this motor is instantaneous. I can't believe it's a four-cylinder, two-liter naturally aspirated engine. And surprisingly, this is still a bone stock factory FD2, apart from the titanium cabback exhaust. So the host of changes for this JDM K20A engine on the FD2 included a better ported head, it's got a different intake manifold system, it's got higher compression, and it's also got more aggressive cams, thereby giving it a 5 kilowatt power upgrade over the JDM DC5R, as well as the EuroR and the EP3, making it the most powerful, naturally aspirated K20A engine ever released from Honda. And you feel all of that power immediately when you're driving this car. It feels so responsive. And because it's got the 5.1 final drive upgrade of the standard 4.74 from the DC5, it just feels so free revving. It's only 3% shorter in gears 1 to 3 and 1% shorter in 4 to 6. But when you're driving this car, it really makes a world of a difference. about the straight line performance because it's a type R. It's about how it handles the twisties. It's where this car really shines. When you look at this car, it doesn't feel like it's got the performance, but once you're driving, it's a completely different animal and it's so exciting to drive. Immediately when you hop into this car within five minutes, 
you feel at one with the driving sensation. There's quite a substantial amount of feedback from the steering wheel, which is nice. Although it's a little bit big and cumbersome. I don't know how I feel about the look of this wheel. I really like the noise coming from this engine as well. It's not loud, it's not riser, it's just the right pitch. Healing and towing is just a breeze in this car. Oh! It grips perfectly with that LSD at the front, the Torsen limited slip differential. You know, the suspension also feels so compliant and balanced over the road. It's still the factory shocks, and for it being over 15 years old, it's epic. <laughs> This car is 15 years old. There's no creaks, rattles, any strange noises coming from this motor or car. There's none of it. It feels literally like a new car. And there's 120,000 kilometers on the clock. It just is a showcase of Honda's engineering at its finest. It's truly just so good to drive. I'm astounded that a car with that many Ks, although not that much, just feels so tight and nimble. Wow. And that's why prices on these FD2 Civic Type Rs are skyrocketing. They made a fair few of them, but still to pick one up, you're looking at spending around the $40,000 Australian mark at the very lowest. And although $40,000 is a lot to part ways with, for this car, it really is a no-brainer. And with the investment potential, Honestly, I would definitely buy one if I was in the market for one. And with the help of Fast and Finance, you'll be able to pick one up without affecting your cash flow. It makes purchasing vehicles a breeze for all ages. With a panel of 30 lenders, you can virtually buy any car in Australia. I'll leave more details about Fast and Finance in the description box below. But I want to say a huge thank you to Fast and Finance for sponsoring this video. This car set out in championship white with the white wheels. And this engine at the heart of it, it honestly is the best Civic Type R I have ever driven. Admittedly, it isn't as raw as a DC2 Type R or an EK9 Honda Civic Type R. It doesn't have that old school rawness about it that makes it visceral and engaging. However, it definitely feels like a faster and more capable car than the DC5 Integra Type R. And if it were me, if I was looking for downright performance, this car would be better than the DC5 and I'd take it any day over that car that I own. However, it just doesn't do it for me in terms of the looks department. I love that two-door coupe hatch style of the DC5 Integra. That just pulls a heartstring for me. And that's why I'm going to keep my DC5. However, if you're looking for downright acceleration, performance, track times, I think this car is an absolute no-brainer. And if you're looking for a car that's both practical, fun to drive, and just an overall epic sports car this is it i really think it's one of the best that honda had ever produced and i've had such a blast driving it i want to say a huge thank you to the owner of the vehicle alan for allowing me to showcase this jdm legend on the channel if you guys have enjoyed it make sure you hit that thumbs up button in the comments below tell me what you think about the honda civic fd2 type r and if you guys have been enjoying the content and you want to see more builds car reviews and automotive related videos here on youtube consider subscribing to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video please take care bye for now